we need to find an equation for the polynomial shown in this picture. Sometimes you're shown a picture like this. Sometimes the polynomial is described with words and you have to put it together. It's the same method either way. What I'm going to do is focus on these x-intercepts right here. We're going to start building our equation from those. So if you look at the first one over on the left, that says x equals negative 1. Well, you can imagine turning that into a factor by adding 1 to each side. And now I have a factor x plus 1 equals 0. You might remember going the other way, taking a factor and going to an x-intercept. Well, it works both ways. So I'm going to say this over here is a factor of x plus 1. That guy right there. Okay, so if you do the same procedure for another x-intercept, like x equals 2, you can turn that into x minus 2 equals 0. So that's this guy over here, x minus 2 equals 0. The only time you might run into trouble is when you have a fraction x-intercept, like x equals 1 over 2. Okay, that could be a little confusing. What I usually do is I multiply both sides by the denominator, so I get 2x equals 1, and then I subtract it over. 2x minus 1 equals 0. That's going to be my factor. But someone could also do it this way. They could say, well, I want to do subtract 1 over 2 from each side. And they're going to call that their factor. And that's a fine factor. It's going to work just the same way, or I should say, it's going to be the same method as what I showed you, 2x minus 1. Your answer will look a little different if you do it that way. I just prefer not to have fractions. It makes the equation more complicated, so I, I don't use fractions. I just get myself whole numbers. So let's put this fraction, this uh, non-fraction in here, my 2x minus 1. Okay, now we have to think about the exponents. Exponents, if you remember, follow a pretty simple rule where odd means they cross the x-axis, and even exponents means they bounce. And you can see there's a bounce in this graph right here, which is going to want an even exponent. But the other x-intercepts both want odd exponents, which I'm going to pick as 1. You generally pick the lowest number you can. So now we're ready to put this together. I'm going to take my factors. I'm going to say f of x, that means my y equation, equals x plus 1 is one of my factors. 2x minus 1 was a factor and x minus 2 was a factor. And I'm going to put the exponents that we talked about on here. So this guy has a 2, those guys have 1s. And now there's one more piece that's missing, and this is often a trouble spot. There's some number out in front, and I don't know what that number is. It could be 3 or a negative a quarter, but it can't have an x, because if it had an x, it would have another x-intercept. It's just going to be some number. And the way we figure this out is we have to find some non-zero Okay, this is a non-zero y value. And you plug in that non-zero y value into your equation. The way you do that is you take the y value of it, which is negative 4 according to the graph, and then you copy down the equation, plugging in the x value in for all the x's. Now, I, I chose the y-intercept. It's a nice, easy spot, which has an x value of 0. So look what's happening here. All those x's turn into zeros, and now we multiply through. Let's see what we get. This is going to be a times... 1 squared times, let's see, the next parenthesis is going to be 2 times 0, which goes away, so that's going to be negative 1. And then the last one will be negative 2. Okay, so we keep on multiplying. That's going to turn into a times 1 times negative 1 times negative 2. I know I'm going a little slow here, but if you write everything out, you're less likely to make a mistake. So we get 2a equals negative 4, which means when I divide both sides by 2, I get a equals 2. Now, that's not our answer. We're not going to put that in the equation box. What we're going to do with it is replace the A in our equation with that 2 right here. Okay, so we put that in there, and now we have our full equation. So we would put that in our equation box right here. You would say negative 2 times x plus 1 squared 2x minus 1 and x minus 2. Okay, and that's how you complete one of these problems.